Kirk gets beaten up a lot more than he dishes out. Is that mm. a key to the character that he will always get up no matter how inadvisable it is? Yeah, I think exactly right. I think it's fun to see, just like, it, you know, uh, with McLean in the Die Hard series, it's always fun to see the, the underdog kind of uh, in, uh, in the face of great obstacle and uh, great hardship get up again and again and again. And I think that that is a, it's a mark of hopefully a, you know, a good leader. What's the level of secrecy for you guys as actors? Among us, obviously, there came a point where we just had to have the script and had to know what was happening. I think it's the only way to, uh, to, to be prepared enough to tell the story. So um, we respect the secrecy and we understand that it comes from a place of integrity and JJ's belief in preserving an experience for the audience rather than allowing them to have uh, any foreknowledge going into it. So uh, that's good. There is a great deal of secrecy around this film, and we're mm -hmm. not going to talk about some of these things for the benefit of the audience, but when you were reading the script, mm -hmm. were you taken in by the twists and turns? You know, uh, JJ asked me to read the script in his office uh, in one sitting, so it was pretty full on. You know, you read a script like that, and it plays out in your head, and you definitely have an image of what the movie is. So. I, yeah, that's exactly what happened when I first read it. And it's a bit unusual. Normally when you get a script for a part, you get to sit with it and live with it. And this you have to hand over back to somebody the millisecond you're done. Even when we finish shooting. Yeah. And we have to hand it back. Yeah, it's a, it's a military operation for sure. But do you feel like that's going to pay off for the audience? You know, I hope so. I really hope so. I hope that them having surprises in store for them makes a difference. It certainly makes a difference for me when I go and see Sex in the City, which is like what I love. and you know, you don't you don't know what's going to happen. It makes mm. a difference. Do you want to bring a little bit of that kind of cosmopolitan glamour to Star Trek? Do you want to do sex in with Starfleet in um, the next films? I, I definitely want to do City on the Enterprise. Right. I, uh, I want to bring a little bit of um, femininity to it, and Zoe and I are doing our best. One of the great things about this series is that while it's somewhat certainly invested in and informed by past iterations, it can do new stuff. You get to continue that in this film. Is that stuff fun to play? I think it does present its challenges and, and, uh, and you're able to see that uh, in this installment of Star Trek. And it felt to me uh, a great direction on so many levels. One, it just proves to you that JJ and his team of writers are amazing storytellers, that they really see and can capture what, a, what makes a true hero uh, by showing their vulnerable side. Um, and also there's, there's a deep comprehension and ob that, that comes from ob observing life that no matter where you are, whether you're in space or on Earth or in the past or in the present or in the future, you will be going through human emotions and, um, and in relationships and in friendships. And this film, besides having the most seductive visual uh, uh, aesthetic possible, uh, it's filled with suspense and amazing action scenes, but true, true emotion by these characters. You've done these films, you're about to do Star Wars. Do you just wake up in the morning and, like Alexander the Great, weep that there are no more worlds to conquer? Uh, I wake up weeping, but for totally different reasons. Right. Okay. Uh, just, but I, I will say that um, you know it, it's uh, it, as much fun as it is to be in, involved in these things. Uh, you know, I, I I try not to look at it from the outside in and just think this is really about you know if we're going to do these things right, we have to just look at it from who's it about, what's the story, and not be thinking about the expectations or the noise or the you know critiques that are going to happen no matter what you do.